information and okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to this real opinion session. Thank you so much for taking out the time. Um, none of you look like you really need this session. <laughs> you all look pretty good, but it's not just about weight loss. It's about um, uh, you know a whole uh, developing a whole mindset about healthy living and healthy eating and exercising. And Enid is here with me from United Healthcare. Um, and it will take us through the presentation. Um, this little uh, setup that you see here is all the stuff that you're going to get in that real appeal box. Um, so after you go through the presentation, you'll also be told how you can register. Uh, real appeal is going live on April 4th. So that's around the time you'll get an email from UHC on your work email, on the REI systems email, and it'll have the instructions on how you can register online. Once you complete the registration process, the box will come in mail to your mailing address. All right? It has lots of good stuff, and it will talk about it. And if you have any questions uh, today, and it is here until 3 p.m., and I'm here always for all of you. So feel free to ask as many questions as you have. All right? Over to Annette. Hello, everyone. Uh, as Nidhi said, my name is Annette Dirks, and I am with United Healthcare. And what we're doing is going to be rolling out our uh, a new program uh, for our members who may be having some issues with uh, weight. Um, their BMI is a certain level and you want to get it down to a lower level. This is a way of being able to do it. Um, what Real Appeal is, is using clinically proven science to help with the transformation through coaching and through engaging content in our our program and what it does is it looks at um, helping members who need to lose weight um, because losing weight is usually tied with certain diseases um, high blood pressure health uh, heart disease high cholesterol um, diabetes some forms of cancer stroke in most cases if you have some of these issues already the doctor has probably asked and said you know it might be a good idea to lose weight and you and I know how hard it is to lose weight but what we would hope that you would do is consider using the Real Appeal program because what it does is it has instead of fear-based says if you don't lose weight you're going to you, you might die which is you know one of the things that you might find in other weight loss programs hopefully not but uh, what we try to do is have entertainment asp aspiring uh, messaging coming from our coaches, uh, from our videos, the success kit, which you'll see right here, and I'll talk about that in a bit, but also incorporating your group uh, classes, group coverage, uh, weekly classes, as well as personalized one-on-one -on -one meetings with your coach, and also being able to have all the tools that you would need on your computer or on your cell phone or even on your uh, tablet so that you can track your weight loss, track your exercise, your water, your sleeping habits, um, taking your measurements. If you're not one who wants to look at the scale, which you get a scale, uh, but also uh, tape measure so you can measure your arms, your thighs, your waist. Those areas that you want to see about losing weight and keeping track of it, you can do that on the system. The thing with Real Appeal it starts it, that's different from other programs is first of all it's not going to cost you anything. The program is going to be at no cost. There's nothing associated with it. Even this, your success kit comes to you free. Um, and we were told that the actual cost of it on a larger scale is about $103. So that right there is not going to be a cost that you have to, to actually pay. It's something that United Healthcare is providing. Um, the other thing is, is we look at different components of weight loss because it isn't just actually doing, uh, cutting back on eating. It's not only exercising. It's also looking at whether you're really in, into wanting to lose weight. You have to have the mentality that goes along with it. You also have to be able to recognize that there are going to be hindrances in weight loss, whether it's um, uh, your own preference, your coworkers, your family, sometimes they can be a deterrent for you to lose weight as well. So we look at all the aspects that you have for the components of weight loss and hopefully focus on those to help you overcome them. Um, we look at those chronic condi conditions that we were talking about, the heart disease, the high cholesterol, the diabetes, things that will affect you that most cases the doctor's going to ask that you do lose some weight in order to help control. And the other thing that I think is important is that this weight loss program isn't something that is a short-term process. It's for a full year. So you will have coaching 
for a full 52 weeks. You can speak to uh, the coach on a one-on-one -on -one basis if you want to, if you, if you, most people will hit a plateau. If they hit that plateau, how can I go ahead, coach, and maybe move past that? What things may I have to do? It may not be eating less, it may not be eating more. And in fact, it might be something as silly as it may sound, is increasing your, your caloric intake because your body has reached a point and says, you know, we don't, you're doing fine. We, we think that if you lose, you're, you're, not, you're not putting in as many calories, so we're not gonna have you lose weight. That's your body telling you this. It may be as simple as increasing your calorie intake by 150 calories, and your body says, oh, okay, I'm not starving. I can go ahead and start losing weight again. Something that I had to have done with me. Yes. And, and it, uh, the program is available to the employees as well as their dependent family members over the age of 18, right? Um, it's actually oh, 19 and above. They have to be okay. an adult. So it's, okay. it's if you have under United Healthcare, yourself covered, your spouse covered, and adult children covered, 19 or above, then they can also participate in this program. So it's not limited just to you, but it can also be part of your family uh, members as well. Uh, it, and it is a caveat for adult children. Um, uh, that's the, the only thing that we have to do because sometimes your kids, if you are of a certain age like I am, and your kids are maybe under the age of 26 and still this, and they're covered under your plan because they are under the age of 26, you can also have them participate as well. Okay, back to my glasses here. So what we try to do is it's an, you have that group uh, class online so you are going to be not only building relationships with your coach, but also the people that you speak to. And they can be very helpful for you just as much as um, your coach can, being able to give you that, um, I want to say the aspirational uh, messaging and also the camaraderie of having a group uh, with the same issues that you might have with weight loss. Things for you to keep in mind. With the majority of U.S. adults being overweight or obese, the health and that of your employer could be at risk. Because if you think about it, um, people who are overweight usually incur about seven times more health claims. Those that are also associated with any of those uh, disease conditions that we talked about. And overall, for your company, about every 10 years, it's pretty much pretty good about it. Every 10 years, you're gonna find that the health costs for your company almost doubles. But the more important fee, uh, part of this is the how much is it costing everyone who takes health insurance has claims. How much is it costing? They estimate that or they're projecting that for two, 2030 the cost for health insurance, the cost of the claims, what you have as everybody has in the United States will be just shy of a trillion dollars a trillion dollars in cost. It's actually, they're projecting $957 billion. That's what the average cost for health insurance claims and so forth will be for 2030. So that's a big chunk of change. That's more than, than I can even imagine. But if we can get control of certain things with weight loss, it also lowers those possibilities of having those conditions of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, um, even some forms of cancer. And if you're lowering those, you're actually bringing that cost down, not only for yourself, but also for your company. So that's a good thing. So how, how does Real Appeal start? Well, it starts with an invitation. Um, we have a scheduled date that we are going to be mm -hmm. launching the invitation out to you um, by email. When you receive it, you will have um, a code, or a, not a code, but an email address that you can go on and register. It happens to be uhc.realappeal.com. Um, you can go through the registration process. There will be a, a, like a, a person there to get information from you, your height, your weight, uh, whether you have any um, specific diseases, conditions that you would like to to let us know about, especially if it's heart disease or diabetes or high cholesterol and things like that. Um, we'll go ahead and process that information. Now some people may not even qualify for this because their BMI is under 23. Um, they don't have any of the conditions that might lead to uh, a weight loss issue. So don't be surprised if, if you may not qualify for the coaching process. You may still be able to get this. I'm, not too sure about that part, but you may not 
you know, it may not be to your benefit to have this type of program for you. What we're looking for is those individuals that do have those issues or do have those conditions because we think we can actually affect their lives in order to bring them into a more healthier state. <coughs> You'll have your groups, like I said, your group classes. You'll have your first group class. Um, one of the things that you'll do when you register is you'll select a date and a time of when you want to have your uh, Real Appeal group session. And you have your first one, we'll send you the kit, um, and then you go through the process, hopefully for a full 52 weeks with your coach, and see that that is something that works for you. Yes, ma'am? What's involved in the group class? Well, the group class will consist of a video. We have a video there. They'll, the coach will uh, guide through the discussion of what was actually talked about with the video. We'll have the group people, it, and in my group, because I was a real appealer, I actually uh, did this a year ago. Um, the class consists of, you can either be very active and vocal, you can speak, because you're gonna have that um, FaceTime there, uh, whether it's on your computer, whether it's on your tablet or your Facebook, you do have to have the ability to see your coach. And, so what will happen is that you can either talk, or if you don't feel like talking, you can always text information about uh, questions that you might have, what you experienced over the last week that was either very helpful or very not, not helpful, and also be able to look at some of the issues that come up, whether you've reached a plateau, um, uh, mindless eating was always my favorite. Um, you know, having that, that what, what do you do when you just, just you're having a bad day and a piece of chocolate will be a really good thing to happen. Well, there's things like moderation, uh, postponing, waiting until that urge passes. There's things that you can learn through the system and through the program that can assist you with those issues or those uh, times when it seems like, ah, uh, I have to have that chocolate right now. So these okay. are not in-person classes? No, they're, they're all gonna be online. Okay, and then of course you have your tools online uh, to monitor your, your tracking, your eating, your weight, your exercise, uh, your sleeping, um, your taking of your medications, all sorts of things that you might think will help you along that weight loss goal. And the other thing is, is that we're gonna give, give us the information of how much weight you lose. You do have a scale. Each time that you weigh yourself, usually during the first things, we only want you to weigh yourself once a week. Like the first six months, weigh yourself once a week. And then in the last six months, weigh yourself twice a week and see if there's anything that you can do to adjust your weight during those time frames between um, those meetings, okay? So it's a good thing to have. On average, people lose about, um, about 10 pounds on average, everybody doing it. Um, in my case, I lost 26 pounds in, in a year. I've had people, um, uh, my two coworkers, one lost 60 pounds and the other one lost 40 pounds in a year. So it is doable. I no longer have the coaching sessions, but I still have all the tools. I can still go on to realappeal.com for me as an individual and keep track of my weight loss and my uh, food intake and what else may be happening. I, I always monitor my water and I always monitor my steps. And I also make sure that I'm putting in what types of exercise I do, whether it's a more traditional means by going to the gym, whether it's a, a more um, uh, an unusual way of doing it, um, think about when you're doing your laundry. I know that sounds funny, but make sure that you're going up and down the steps. Take those steps instead. Take the steps here instead of taking the elevator. Um, at lunchtime, take a walk around. You'd be surprised how much steps you take and how much calories you burn just by doing that. And so that's your goal is to not only look at the more traditional ways of losing weight, but also the more um, uh, unusual ways of losing weight. You know, it, it doesn't mean you have to run a marathon, but if your goal is to possibly do a, a half K, a half marathon, you know, instead of doing 13 miles, you do something, you do 13 miles instead of 26. Those are things that you can do, or a 5K, put that as a goal, and that's what you're going to be working towards so that you're successful. So, we had in our initial um, testing, you want to call it that, we had a registered participants of over 100,000 people. And 82% of those people actually lost weight. 38% of those lost more, lost at least 5% or more in their body weight. And on average, people lost about 10 pounds. But that's, you know, for me, my 
uh, weight loss <coughs> turned out to be almost 10%. It was like nine, nine point something percent that I lost in a year. So that's a significant amount for me. That's also something when I go to the doctor and he's and I have mine scheduled for my routine physical, that's something that he's gonna take notice. Because that might mean I can possibly lower the amount of high cholesterol medication I'm taking. You know, think about that. Weight loss can also reduce some of the medications that you need to be taking. Um, a 5% weight loss or 10% weight loss, somewhere in there, if you are um, like pre-diabetic, that might take you out of that diabetes range. Because once you get to the point where you're taking insulin, you can't turn back. But if you're in the pre-diabetic stage and you lose the weight that you need to do, you may take yourself completely out of, of that, that whole, whole, you know, I want to say that road to having to take insulin on a daily basis. So it's something for you to consider. So just to give you an example, here are some of our people. Um, um, the, all these people at this point I know are part of United Healthcare. That's why we were able to get their permission to show their pictures. But these people for a year were on the program. They lost 37 in the middle, but 50, 120 pounds. And in my case, I lost 26, and my two co-workers, like I said, lost 60, respectively, and 40, respectively. So you can lose weight. It's not something for you to, to, to say. And the important thing for me, since I'm in the what I call the second year of my, my weight loss journey, I don't have the coaches, but I have all my information. I can read my sessions instead of of having the coach there. I can also go online and view the videos that we looked at from day one up to week, um, week 52. I can look at those and see them. But more importantly, these people are in the same thing as I am, is more like on how to keep losing the weight on my own without the coach. I still have all the tools available to me. I haven't gained any of that weight back. And that was since uh, November of 2016. So since November, I haven't gained any of the 26 pounds back. So that's the important thing for you to take away. You can do this, and you can also increase your weight loss if you want to, but more importantly, you can maintain, if that's all you wanted to lose, that weight loss. So just to give you an idea, online tools provide anytime, anywhere support. So we're, if you're on the road, we had a, uh, a gentleman who worked for a trucking company. And so he's on the road about most of, 85 to 90% of the time. So it's not like he can do a lot of things in his cab, but believe it or not, he went through the real appeal process while he was on the road, and he lost, he lost I think, about 50 pounds. But he explained, you know, I had the advantage. I had my cell phone. I didn't have to have a computer, because I can access real appeal from my cell phone. If you have a tablet, Personally, I like my tablet because I can see things better. For some people who have better eyesight than me, maybe using a cell phone is okay, but for a tablet, I can actually see things a little better. But in his case, he said he used the Real Appeal as a way of being able to lose weight, keep track of it, while he was on the road. Um, when he did stops, he actually had a, a routine program that he, exercise program that he did um, while he was at a hotel on his way to the next stop. But he kept track of all that information, and he was able to still lose about 50 pounds. This is your kit. This is what you get when you enroll into Real Appeal. And, it, and it's really quite comprehensive, because what you have is the um, weight scale, so that you can weigh yourself. You have a food scale. If you're into making sure you're eating so many grams or uh, the fluid ounces or whatnot, you can do that. You have the cups and saucers as well. You have the food pl plate which gives you basically the information of how many vegetables you're supposed to eat, how much for fat, protein, and grains. This is the size plate you should be using. It's not that the big plate, you know, let's, let's get real. And tell them the funny thing about the plate, how you're not supposed to. Yeah, you don't yeah. go this way. <laughs> go this way. Yeah, somebody asked that. Well, can I add it this yeah. way? Mm. Um, you know, this is about two cups, two cups. If you're looking for salad, two cups of salad is about your handful. This is about what you'd be looking for for the size of a protein, three ounces of protein. Or a deck of cards is three ounces of pro protein. So you can look at certain things and be able to tell by hand, <coughs> by using your plate, um, 
by measuring it, it either by cups or teaspoons or even the food scale itself how much you should be eating and, and don't a think very it's a nice recipe book. Oh, that this you is you must tell them the about. recipe book has what they do with the recipe book is they take some of the more uh, popular foods and show how you can make it less fat, less sugar, less less things that would might be a little bit adding on to the weight and still be very tasty. Okay, that's the important thing: is taste. And you also have real appeal um, moves for a walking program, exercises along with this as well as the uh, videos, exercise videos. So it does not only the, it does car, uh, cardio videos and um, other ones along with it, and it gives you the level if you're starting off, if you're sedentary and it'll, you know, it may be a little bit too much exercise for you to begin with, it gives you those lower and then you can move on to the higher level as well. So it's a good way of doing it. You have the exercise band and I've put it under here because it was propping up this, uh, the weight scale. Because so you have a little, I'll take out mine, that probably would be easier. You have a little tracker, so you can track your steps. Nice. Okay. So, what you have here is, a, is very comprehensive. It's not something to, to think that it's not gonna be working for you. Oh, and the blender, smoothies. You'd be surprised what you can do with smoothies. Um, they had something that just came out for people to lose weight, um, was to take and make a, a peanut butter milkshake. You don't need a whole lot of peanut butter, but what it does is it provides just enough of the protein that you need in there. And they found that people who did the peanut butter milk uh, smoothie or milkshake, um, they actually ended up losing more weight. Just that little bit of additional protein, okay? So it's, it's something that, and again, this is gonna come to you in that success box. The success box, the box is actually under here. It's this huge thing and then you look, oh my God, and you keep opening it up and there's, it's like Christmas getting more and more so I, I'm basically just introducing you to the program but if you have any questions you know this is your time to ask because when you see your your um, invite you know please take the opportunity to to actually go on like I said the registration process for you you may not qualify you know based on on your particular health but I can almost guarantee that there will be some people here that can take advantage of this program and actually go through the program and feel like, hey, you know, this isn't as hard as I thought. And believe me, when you're weighing yourself on the scale, two ounces is a weight loss. You know, you're not going to be getting like the, you know, let's, it's not going to be Biggest Loser. I'm going to tell you that right now. Don't expect to lose five, ten pounds every week. It's not going to happen. It's a slow methodical way of losing weight whether it's losing uh, your goal is to lose about a, a pound maybe every week or maybe a pound every two weeks that's fine that's what's going to be working for you if it's losing one ounce then I'm a happy camper too if it took me a week to lose an ounce I'm a happy person okay because there will be times where you will not be able to lose any weight whatsoever and you may actually gain weight but the thing is, is, this is a process. It is not something that you're going to lose overnight. I will look at it this way. It didn't take you overnight to gain the weight. It sure as heck not gonna be overnight that you lose the weight. It's up to you to decide what means you wanna use and, and what track you wanna go, but you can lose the weight and you can get that support not only from your family, hopefully, but also from the people that you're going to be in that group session with and with your coach. And more importantly, for those who do participate, reach out for those other people that are in your company and form your own group session right here in your company. Because you will have the same, if you want to call it, um, ability to talk to them. And you, you realize you're not the only one in this weight loss <coughs> thing. Everybody who has a weight loss issue and wants to lose weight, there's somebody sitting right across the desk from you or right across the wall who may be facing the same thing. So this is your way of being able to know, not only get to know your employee, your other, the other employees and neighbors across the wall, but it also is going to have something that you can build on together. It does bring people together, believe me. I have my husband doing it. If you looked at my husband, you would say, this man is a skinny man. But he has comorbidities um, that his doctor wanted him to lose weight for. He has to lose about, he doesn't have to lose much. We're only talking about 10 pounds for my husband but because of his other medical conditions, it is important for him to lose those 10 pounds. So um, he's doing it now. 
And it's funny because my husband would be the soda drinker of the world. Now he doesn't drink soda. He drinks water. He does flavor it with, you know, the little, um, I can't remember the name, like, uh, yeah, you the little things, the little things. The little things. Yeah. They're sugar and it's now it tastes like lemonade or it tastes like mixed berry. He does that. He used to be the baked potato man at the restaurant, sour cream and, and butter and all that stuff. No, now he's the broccoli. He may have rice pilaf or he may have the zucchini slices. He has changed the way he eats now and it's beginning to show. But it's something that it's not gonna take overnight to do. It's something that will take a while. And what's nice is this program, like I said, is 52 weeks. It's not gonna be a four month schedule and that's it. It's 52 weeks of being able to talk to someone in a group session or individually your coach and being able to discuss what things that you can do to improve your health and hopefully that of your family, <coughs> in my case my husband, or if you have an adult child who also is, has some issues, this is a way if they're covered under your plan, you can also direct them to this as well. Any more questions? Come on, give me a few. Well, when you say lifestyle changes, if you think about it, anything that you do, most of the, most people in the United States, we are, we are, have an epidemic of, of of obesity. Let's be honest, we do. But the way we got to be obese is through things that we could have done through lifestyle changes. We, we didn't do as much exercising. We, we, we look at processed food as the main course. Um, uh, taking into consideration the things that you have, we're, we're sedentary people. We sit behind a desk, we use our computers. Um, if you look at your kids, they're using their little laptops and their little cell phones to do a lot of the things. You watch people walking on the street are they looking at where the traffic is? No, they're down talking on their phone or, and working on their phone. I mean, we've become a society of non-exercisers. We've put ourselves in that hole, okay? But each and every one of you have the, have the ability to change it and get out of that hole, not only for yourself, but your family members. The recipe guidebook, I mean, for a lot of people, oh, my husband likes to eat this, and and my kids like to eat this. Well, cooking a real meal with real food is something that you could get to try. You know, maybe that's uh, one of the goals that you'd like to do is learn how to cook. Here's a way of being able to take and start using some of those uh, tools. I, I don't buy pizza anymore. I make my own. I get the whole grain pizza dough. I use, um, I'm, I can make my own spaghetti sauce or, or tomato sauce. I use low, uh, what I call, um, instead of real sausage or something, I use the turkey bacon or the turkey sausage and um, put a lot of vegetables on there. And broccoli is actually very good on a pizza, if you didn't know that. Besides onions and red peppers, green peppers, broccoli is pretty good. Mushrooms, fresh mushrooms on there. It's a great way of being able to incorporate those healthier versions of a good pizza. And you don't have to have the big pizza just have a small pan and cut it up into little squares. It's perfect. And then match it up with a, a healthy salad with a little bit of, believe it or not, Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese. You don't need the heavy dressing and you don't need the heavy cheese. Parmesan cheese has very little fat to it, but it also adds a little bit of taste to it, a nutty taste to it. So go ahead and try those. Or if you do want to have salad, use it in a little container Dip your fork in it and then eat it. Don't pour it all over because just that a little bit of taste on the fork tines with your salad is enough. You've got the taste of the salad dressing, whether it's something that's a creamy one, which most people probably wouldn't want to use anyway, but even the vinaigrettes, just dip your fork in it, eat your salad, now you've got the taste of it without drowning your, your beautiful salad in salad dressing. So yes, it is lifestyle changes, but it's ones that, that are very easy for people to do. It's a very easy process. Any other questions? Yes. For the registration, uh, do we need any information from ourselves or do we have to go to some doctor or something? Well, with any type of exercise program, depending on what your conditions are, okay? Um, if you were uh, very obese, 
it might be a good idea to talk to your doctor before starting any type of exercise program. I can, I can guarantee you the programs that you have here, uh, if you're just using the, the, the CDs, they're not going to be really strenuous. They're not going to be the ones that you're going to be sweating profusely, okay? Um, you can do, if, I mean, hot yoga. I mean, I was surprised they have it listed there as hot yoga sessions as one of the exercises that you can do and, and actually track how many calories that you can burn off of. But any type of exercise program, um, depending on your particular conditions, um, medical conditions, and, and yourself, it's always a good idea to have that checked by your doctor just to make sure that you're fine. You do not need to give us that information, okay? The registration process is just that. Um, once you, if, if you, if you qualify for the program, then you know, you'll be picking your date and time, you'll be going to your first class, you'll be getting your kit, and you'll hopefully be continuing through the 52 weeks like I did. You, know? you can even go on vacation. Sorry. Oh, I was gonna say, if you're on vacation, you still can bring your phone and still be participating in that class. Except if you go outside of the United States. That might be the only thing I can say, that may not work. But if you're in the United States on vacation, wherever your phone is, you can still get onto the Real, Real Appeal uh, website and be able to participate on that weekly uh, meeting. I know because I did it. So even while I was on vacation, I still participated. Okay. So the program goes live on April 3rd. Make sure you check your email, especially the clutter box. It's gonna come on the REI email. Um, it'll have the instructions on how you can register online. And um, you'll be taken care from there on. Uh, make sure you attend your first group session so that you can get your success kit, this lovely box of goodies. It will be <laughs> mailed to your house. And if you have other uh, family members who are also in enrolled in United Healthcare, make sure they do it too if they're interested. Okay. How do they do it? They have to do the same process. They have to follow the same instructions, register themselves online, and then um, they'll be do they get a separate email? They, they actually, what they can do is um, you'll get the email and it'll give you the website to actually join. It'll be uhc.realappeal.com. Um, if, if, if you want to, they can go ahead and pull up that same email address and register themselves. Okay? Um, if, you, if you've registered on myuhc.com, you're going to see um, it'll be like a revolving, there's revolving message board that's there. One of the things that'll be there is Real Appeal. Um, if you look at your phone, you'll see that they'll have Real Appeal messaging on that as well. Okay? But it's just a matter of going to that website, UHC. But a dot. spouse and it can register herself on, yep. the, on the website right. using the same instructions? Yep. Mm -hmm. See, you are the main subscriber on the plan, so you will get the email, but your spouse can use the same instructions and because register. Because one of the things that we, when you pull out your ID card, it has your group number on it. That's one of the things it's going to ask, is your group number for sure, because that way it ties in, okay, we're having REI employees participating. Part of the things that we'll be able to, hopefully at, as we get along and through the process, is get, get aggregate data so we can know how many people participated. We're not gonna name John, Mary, you know, Joe, but we'll get aggregate data so that we can see how many people participated how many people came to the, the sessions, um, get an, an aggregate weight count of how much everybody weighs, and then get towards the end, hopefully by the year, we'll have the aggregate figure of how much people have lost. So that gives information to Nitty, you know, is this a program that is working for her employees, and should we encourage people who have this to, who haven't yet participated, to go ahead and do so? And for those who have participated, did you lose weight? Was it something that you could do? Is it something that these lifestyle changes will help you and, and or your family? So the and answer don't worry, is- we won't get the names and the data, so- We don't I get do names. Not know who's lost weight and yeah. who's not. We're not gonna get names, we're not gonna get, get, get the, anything like that, but what we get is aggregate uh, documentation. Um, total, how many people actually participated. You know, in your company, you have a, a lot of employees. If if I only get 20 people, that's all I have, but that's the number Nitty is going to get, 20. And how much, how much total weight? 
okay, and how much has been lost after a year. We actually have it for the sessions too, so that not so much for the weight loss, but how many people actually participate in the sessions. Those are really important things. It's I found I actually had two I actually had two just quickly two coaches one for the first half and one for the second half. I have to admit both my coaches were phenomenal coaches. I I really enjoyed working with them. I also enjoyed working with my group session. Um, Frank, I have Frank's email address. We keep in touch. So it's kind of nice to know. And he's not he is in, he's in the Las Vegas area. I'm on the, on this side. So you might get people not necessarily from REI. You're going to get people from across the United States as part of your group session, okay? Which I found to be very good. I have this gentleman first, and then we'll come back to you, okay? Yeah, yes, sir. I just wanted to know, you said, um, you, you mentioned the eligibility. So after the registration, you guys can, you can let us know that are we eligible to- They'll let you know at that point. After registration, right? Okay. And uh, can we do the group sessions on our weekend, like Saturday, Sunday? Um, Mine were, I believe you can have, I believe they do have the, some of the group sessions. So I always took, I took Wednesday at 7.30 was my time. My husband's is on Monday at 8 o'clock. 7.30 p.m.? Yeah. Okay. So you do have times, I think it goes all the way up to like 9 o'clock, they'll do okay. meetings. So what we try to do is, um, it's, it's uh, a lot of, uh, we have coaches not only in Las Vegas, we have coaches up in the Minnesota area. So depending on where you are, their time will cover, you know, the people who are in Las Vegas usually took the people over in the East Coast because it's early for them so that we could get some of the later hours over here and vice versa. So you will have a coach and you pick that time, that's what you're going to. Now, every once in a while the coach may go on vacation, just like you will go on vacation, so somebody else will fill in for that time slot, but you will always have a coach meeting each once a week. So what if, if, if we don't give you the medical data, that um, that might be the reason uh, some person is joining this real field? The, How do you the information was, basically they asked for your height and your weight. Uh -huh. um, if, you, if you wanted to provide any information, you could okay. during the registration process. But with the initial um, information that's, that you put into the screen in order to set up that, to have that registration uh, meeting, because mm -hmm. um, they'll call you because you're going to give us your email address. Okay. They'll either email you and your phone number to set up that that next call. Mm -hmm. That'll be part of of that process. Okay. That call will be. Um, it won't be. It may not be immediate. Okay. Because we have to get, depending on how many people we have on uh, doing it, we will schedule that call for you, so that you have a conversation with the the intake person. I'm going to call it the intake person. So um, it may not be immediate because you're going to give us the information. We're going to send it. We'll pick the registration person, the intake person to call you or email you to set up that person. So the intake will be the intake person interview uh, call will be face to face or will it be over the phone? That was, I can't remember what, how mine was done. I remember it being, um, an e I had an email to call. Okay. So I, I think I called in. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm going to comment, sir. I want oh. to about the schedule, like it is of the work or after the work or before the work. Yeah. Yes. You can schedule it before work if you want to. I mean, I mean, they have it set up so that almost every every it's it takes about I'd say about a, a it's thirty to forty minutes is your class, your um, actual coaching class. And usually, um, I'd say 45 minutes is total. Um, the person is then going to be scheduled for the next meeting. They they have meetings almost every hour on the hour. I want to say okay, um, but it is it's something. It's funny. I uh, the the two coworkers that I had, we ne we didn't have the same coaches, and we didn't we weren't in any of us. Our we were all different classes because we had different times that we did it. We have one person who actually did it um, at lunchtime um, at work. So she would use her lunchtime to do her real appeal. She'd just go into one of the conference rooms and do it there. That worked well for her. I was after work and my other coworker was after work as well. Okay. 
but you can schedule. They have those time slots there available for you for those meetings. I'm not too sure. I never did any on the weekend, so I don't. I, I don't know about that part. But I know on the one-on-one -on -one sessions, you can time. You can schedule those um, for the coach for the one-on-one -on -one if you have specific issues for you personally that you didn't want to bring up. Maybe in a in a group session um, that you can um, speak to your coach about. And they usually have that uh, going a little later, just to be able to provide that service for the members that participate. Any other questions? Uh, I have a question. Sure. What if your BMI is within the range, but you have some issues? Well, that might still qualify you for those for the real appeal, but that would be something when that the registration or uh, I, I keep saying registration because it's two different things: the registration and then it's the intake person. And that intake person, you speak to them, they, they'll give you the information as to whether or not that's going to actually um, qualify you to go on uh, with the full Real Appeal 52-week program, okay? One of the things that it does not uh, do is if you already have, um, there's, uh, if you're under the under 23 as your BMI, that's one of the things. If you really don't have any of the medical conditions. That usually is not something that would be uh, going through the full program will not really be beneficial for you. But that doesn't mean that you know someone else in your family, your spouse or an adult child may not benefit from it. If they have that, they can definitely register and, and be part of the program as well. Okay? So good luck. I mean, I, I call out anyone who participates in this, you're going to be a real appealer. I personally found the program to be, and, and you're looking at the biggest skeptic, because I've done a lot of the different types of programs for losing weight. I have not had one where I felt like, you know, about, about four months into it, I said, you know, I think I can do this. And after I finished a year, I said, you know, I think I don't, I'm not going to gain the weight back, because the things that I am doing, I've incorporated in my life. It's the way I cook the cook my food now. It's the way I exercise. It's the way um, you you look at things differently. You truly look at things differently when you go to dinner. When I, well, at least when I go to dinner now, I look at you know what are, I mean. I can still eat if I want Chinese. I can still eat Chinese, but I know how much a portion is. It's not the plate that comes with you know all over the place. It may be, okay, go ahead and give me the box now, and I'll take, you know, basically two-thirds off of it, and that third part is really what is considered a serving. And take it home, and that might be two more meals for me, okay? It's looking at things differently and saying, you know, I have the control of this. It's not, it's not me feeling bad, and never let anybody detract you from whatever your weight loss goals are. And never let anybody make fun of what you, your, if you want to say your, um, uh, what you're going to put on the wall and go for. You know, that's your goal. It's not their goal. You're the only one who can lose the weight. You're the only one who put on the weight. So it's, it's your ability to make those changes for yourself. I find it, I found it to be a really eye-opening experience. I hope that those who do participate will find it the same way. You, you look at things differently. You look at food differently. You know, you, it doesn't, it doesn't take away from the fact that if you want a piece of, a piece of cake, yeah, you can have a piece of cake if you want, but make it a small piece. Or if you just, what's wrong with sharing a dessert with your spouse? And in, in my case, it's, my thing that I do is three bites. Three bites, that's it, of a dessert. Or three bites of uh, some ice cream, that's it. I don't need to have the big cup of ice cream. I don't need it. I just have to have that taste, it satisfies the need, and then I can move on, you know? Learning how to keep things handy for you if you do have a snacking attack, a snack attack. Know what's healthy, have them available to you in your desk or in the refrigerator so you can just pull them out. So it's it's not as hard as it sounds, but it's it's difficult to accept that it's this easy. Okay, that's probably the hardest thing for most people. You mean I could have been doing this already and and experiencing the weight loss I really wanted? Okay, it it you 
it's the funniest thing. People will doubt themselves. And through the classes and through the sessions I had, I realized I shouldn't doubt myself at all because I'm the one who's in charge. In my case, I'm in charge of my husband's what he eats, but I'm making sure that he's eating healthy. And now he, he, really, he gets it. He gets it. He puts his little lunch together. He makes his own lunch. He gets his little bags of grapes for his snack. He has, um, he, he always has a sandwich, but he puts a lot more lettuce and tomatoes and stuff on it than cheese and other things. He uses mustard, a lot more mustard than he does mayonnaise. So there's things that, that, that are easy to do. I happen to like the Arnold round, little round loaves of breads. They're only 100 calories. If you look at a slice of Arnold bread, it's about 120 calories. So 120 calories for a slice of bread versus 100 for the little round top, if you want to call it that. It still gives you the bread, but you don't have to have as much of the calories. And use those fresh vegetables. They're great. You know? if, if you're not into eating meat, look at the other types of protein that you can put in, whether it's, it's tofu, whether it's um, any type of bean. Those are things that you can put into that meal and still have that protein associated with it. It doesn't have to be the beef, it doesn't have to be the chicken, it doesn't have to be the fish. But you'll also learn different ways of that spice and, and cooking with seasonings. You don't need the salt as much. And you'll still have the flavor associated with the food that you want to eat. And sometimes it's better tasting than, than you've ever had. Try things that you haven't tried. Brussels sprouts. I am not a Brussels sprout person yet. My husband loves them, so I will make them for him. I'm getting there. Brussels sprouts do not intrigue me whatsoever. Um, he doesn't like okra. I'm from the south. My parents are from the south, so I like okra. So he's getting used to when I put okra into stews and stuff because it thickens it, a natural thickener, so you don't have to put a roux or flour based. You can thicken a, a soup with just the okra. Slice it up, put it in. There you go. It's nice and thick. So the different things that you can learn, different ways that you can try different foods, it's going to be better for you in the long run. Okay? I'll step off my little, my little um, stool here. And I, I thank you very much for coming and attending. Thank you. But keep on the lookout for the email, okay?